Hey guys, Greg here. This is a contest entry for Nick Rudo, who just reached 420 subscribers, and he did it the week of the date of 420. And apparently, according to him, it's 420 o'clock somewhere. Well, not here. Not on my watch. Am I right, Spiro? That's right, Greg. Yeah. Not going to happen. But we'll do our best to answer Nick's questions to honor Nick. Great channel. Great set of records. Great information from Nick Rudo. Let's start with a reggae album. Jimmy Smith. The harder they come. Jimmy Cliff. Not Jimmy Smith. <laughs> Jimmy Cliff. The harder they come. This is a movie soundtrack from about 1972 or 73. And this was like the first big reggae album that went... You know, worldwide out of Jamaica. Same thing with the movie. First big Jamaican movie starring an all Jamaican cast. And Jimmy Cliff starred in the movie. And he played, what else, but a uh, struggling musician abused by the evil uh, men of the record industry who were set to rip him off. So, cool record. Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Cliff. Why did I say Smith? I got the psychedelic hip 70s artwork. All right, Jimmy Cliff. How about a record that reflects the altered states of the subculture? Altered mental state. Well, Pink Floyd Animals. This is a record that is best enjoyed with headphones while laying down. There's big headphones. That's how I enjoy this record. That's how I used to enjoy it when it first came out in the 70s. You got your pigs, your sheep, more pigs. Great cover. A lot of instrumental stuff on here. Great electric piano. See how I did that? Electric piano. How about an album with a trippy cover, trippy cover art? And by the way, this is a record that started the Nick Rudo fan club here at the vinyl rundown, because when I saw Nick's first video I saw of Nick's, he featured this record, and I went out and bought it immediately. Partly because the cover is so awesome. Check that out. What is this cool record? Well, it's on Impulse Jazz. It might be upside down sometimes. A Day in the Life, Impressions of Pepper. This is a two record, one and a half record set. Uh, current jazz musicians doing their very loose interpretations of the Beatles tunes on Sgt. Pepper. Jazz musicians that are up and coming, younger folks, Mary Halverson, Antonio Sanchez, Shabaka Hutchings, uh, who else? Felix Pastorius, Jocko's son. Uh, anyway, what else is on here? A lot of cool stuff. A Day in the Life, very cool. But the artwork, the awesome artwork, is by a Japanese guy, Kaichi Tonami, who's up there in age. I think he's in his 70s or 80s, and he's been doing really cool graphics for a long time. Check out all the detail on here. Reminiscent of uh, some Beatles, um, Yellow Submarine, and uh, Day of the Dead, and different psychedelic periods, some blue meanies. Oh, almost fell over the back. Eyeballs and beetlesque. The inside's not too exciting. Okay, very trippy artwork. Thank you, Nick, for that suggestion. Nice record. Uh, somebody who himself liked to enjoy various herbal altered states. Um, we know about the musicians of the 60s. What about the 30s and 40s? Lester Young, the prez, the president of jazz. Lester Young, and he was roommates with uh, Billie Holiday, and the two of them enjoyed drinking and other herbal, herbal remedies, and they were hassled by the police more than once. Lester Young without the pork pie hat, but 
the greatest uh, tenor sax player of his day, perhaps. Back then, they called the jazz music musicians vipers because they made a sound like a viper, like a or a s one of those sounds. They made a sound. How about a record you like to mellow out to? Uh, there's a record I just got in the last few months, but it's mellow, and I have been mellow with it. I've been, I've been at one with mellowness. This is the back. Why don't we show the front? Valentine by Bill Frizzell. Guitar player I've been talking about a lot lately. Fairly new record on Blue Note Records. And uh, it's just a trio. It's a two-record set. And uh, talk about some mellow songs like What the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love. With uh, That's the Burke Bacharach tune. And We Shall Overcome. Quite an anthem for the year 2020. And uh, in the style of Bill Frizzell, folky and mellow jazz. How about a jam band? And I mentioned that to my son, and he, he was listening to the jam. I said, no, not the jam, a jam band. I'm not too big on jam bands. I've got some dead on LP. But uh, do you guys know this band? M, M, and W, that's Modesky, Martin, and Wood, and this other guy's thrown in here, John Schofield. This one is called Out Louder, and uh, what label is it on? Maybe no one cares. So, M, M, W, Jam Band, very jazzy, funky, fusion-y. Uh, what did somebody call them? Avant Groove. And... Uh, Mark Modeski, is he the keyboard player? Excellent keyboard player. A lot of Hammond B3 organ and some piano. And I've got actually tons of their sort of a bootleg concert recording, you know, jam band style. Uh, they've got a long version of Hey Joe, which I think is great, but I don't know if that's on an LP. A um, couple of tunes on here. There's a tune called Legalize It. Perhaps they're referring to assault weapons. I don't know. And a tune, my son was joking that I should write a tune with this name. And he was disappointed to find someone already wrote a tune called Miles Behind. You know, got Miles Ahead and then he got Miles Behind. They did it. They got a tune called Miles Behind. Interesting packaging here. I'm just going to pull that out and notice that it has polka dots. In case you were wondering. Uh, but I first learned about MMW. I've got some of their records, just the three of them. This thing has too many. What is all this? How many layers, levels, pockets? This is this is like a, a folding chair that I can't figure out. Records don't need to be this complicated. Um, the first record where I got into them was. John Schofield, one of my favorite jazz guitar players, played with Miles Davis and Billy Cobham in his own uh, settings for de decades. Uh, he did an album that really got uh, MMW out to uh, a lot of people who didn't know about them. A Go-Go. This is on the Verve label. And bizarre and unfortunate and inappropriate, they got no credit on the front of the record. It just says John Schofield. Now, they are the backing band. Billy Martin, John Modeski, Chris Wood. Really good record. A lot of John Schofield writing. He writes great tunes, by the way. That's Orange. And uh, great tunes on here that he's recorded uh, and played live. And it's so forth. A go-go, sort of a 60s go-go feel. Uh, Chank. Kubrick, that's a trippy tune. Dead Z, Chicken Dog. Really cool tunes. And when they stretch these out live, it's very jam bandy. But why didn't they get credit? And uh, MMW, they are on the jam band scene. That is uh, Nick Rudo's contest in 10 minutes exactly. So, uh, 
Don't forget to subscribe to Nick. Wouldn't be a bad idea to subscribe to me. Let me know what you think of this video. And uh, remember, it's not 420 here. It's 420 somewhere. Bye-bye.